Hey, this is Max Messenger from Lynn Aerospace, and we're out here flying at the field today, and I was gonna uh, put together a little video to show you how to set up uh, the launcher and the ground station. It's a really simple procedure, easy to do, um, but you definitely uh, want to have a clear understanding of how everything goes together uh, before you try to do this. So basically the components of the launcher, we have uh, a six-foot aluminum rail, or two six-foot aluminum rails. Um, if you have our Kestrel aircraft, these are going to be U-channels so that the vertical fins of the aircraft fit down in them. Uh, today we're flying a different plane uh, that doesn't have those fins, so we just have regular square tubing. Back here we have a stainless steel quick release that is anchored with two uh, large nails, uh, 12 inch long nails. And uh, so when we pull this cord from the side, it's going to release that quick release and release the bungee, pulling the plane up into the air. So then we come forward, we have this Y and this other ring. This is what's going to attach to the bottom of the plane and pull the plane when the quick release is pulled. And then we have a 20 foot surgical tubing bungee that is doubled up so it's 10 feet in length when it's not stretched. And we have two rings on the end of that and then an extension so that we can make two anchors at the end of this. Uh, we double up all our anchors because there is a lot of force in these and if it were to let go, it could cause pretty bad injury. So it's important to make sure all your stakes are set really well before you tension this and that your quick release is locked up before we tension this down. So to tension up this bungee, what we need are two more of these 10 or 12 inch nails uh, and we need our scale, digital scale. So this is gonna let us know how far we need to pull the bungee back. So we just push our power button right here and it's gonna turn on and zero out. So then once it's zeroed, we will hook this through the cord loop and we're gonna pull straight back in line with the launcher. And for this aircraft, uh, we want 22 kilograms of pull. For the Kestrel, we do 14 kilograms. So we're pulling up through 20 right now. Get that staked in good. Get that all the way in. So there's only a couple inches, maybe five centimeters sticking up out of the ground. And then on our second nail, so we're gonna pull the scale out, set it aside, and we'll put our nail in here and actually grab onto these bungees to loosen it so that you can pick up some of the tension on this front nail. As you can see, one of these pretty easily holds the tension, but uh, we use two just for safety. So now that we have these set, we will release this until we are ready to put our plane on the launcher and fly. Um, we've gone through our pre-flight checks, checked all the servos and everything, connected up the computer. So now, uh, all that's left to do is to arm the aircraft and then tension the bungee. So the way we do that is we'll go down and to the right on the stick until we get a beep out of the aircraft. That long beep indicates that we're armed. Now, I'm going to check the prop, confirm that it rotates freely, and that uh, it spins up without any hesitation. I'm gonna set it back level. And now, with the plane sitting at the top of the rail, we're gonna tension the bungee. I don't like to tension the bungee with the plane at the back of the rail, because if something in the system were to break and release the bungee, it would damage the plane. 
sitting on the back of the rail. Sitting up here, all of that force will go right under the plane and not tear it up. So we simply grab our rings and our uh, cord and we're going to take it back to what we staked out before. With that tension, we're going to slide the plane back to the rear of the launcher. We're going to take our ring that connects to the bottom of the plane and we're going to find that hook under here, hook that, and slide the plane back until everything in here is tight. Now with it set like this, when we pull this cord, it's going to release the quick release and the plane will fly away.